Hello everyone. Happy Lunar New Year if you celebrate it. And if not, then, well, to each his own. Still, Happy Lunar New Year. Anyway, yes, today is Sunday. I have a device. I'm going to review it. And this device in question I've had since 2021. And I'm barely doing a review of it right now. So, <laughs> yep, that's how long it took. So, anyway, let's get this over with. Or get it, get it underway. I present to you the Retro Game Arcade. You could tell because it's written on here. And you could tell it's 16 bit not only by looking at the bottom. It says 16 bit classic edition mini TV game console with 145 classic games. Wow, I've always wanted 145 classic games on something like this. Yes, with six buttons, because that's that's the good thing. Joystick TV Arcade, plug and play, and a bunch of things we'll get to in a bit. As a matter of fact, we could get to it right now. Is is if the autofocus can cooperate. You got a check mark, C E F C C recyclables, two of them. The don't toss it in the bin, and our good old good old sad onion. I don't know how well you could see it, but not to three sad onions. We like that so much. So yeah, like I said, I bought this back in 2021. I don't have the box for it because I threw it away. <laughs> Why did I throw it away? Well, it's quite obvious. But anyway, that's how far back I've gone. So yeah, six buttons and and we'll just look all throughout. All around nothing all throughout got a power switch power switch here AV yes AV that's how long this cable is yep that's what you're getting yeah six buttons uh, joystick it's <sighs> okay I might as well just get it away or get this over with the joystick is not that good I mean it it goes click See, it goes click. And just because it goes click doesn't always mean it's going to be good. Uh, the results will vary once you get into the game. And of course, six buttons with the reset and start. And going back again, six buttons, 16 bit. It's, uh, it's obviously going to be Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. I mean, there's no two ways about it. <laughs> it's, that's, yeah. So, all I could say is uh, we could look all throughout. Not much and on the bottom. You take four double A's. Yep. Got, now I got to find four double A's to play this thing and capture some footage and whatnot. And oh, something I haven't noticed. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, autofocus is really dope. Oh, oh, uh, just about, just about. Yep. Made in China. Recyclable. Don't toss it in the bin. And all that stuff. So... Four batteries, and of course it takes a screw to hold hold the thing in place. I don't have the screw because you really don't need it. I mean, this is just more than enough. That's all I could say. And it has suction cups, so you could play it on a on a desk or something. Do it like this. Yay! I'm having so much fun. He lied, but yeah. And this has no weight to it. I mean, seriously. I mean, it's really, really light. I mean, I could actually throw this on the... <laughs> I could throw it across the room and it'll still hold. And that's how light it is. I mean, it's so light. I mean, it's beyond light than Paimon. I don't even know why, but... Paimon has no weight to it. And that's because she's emergency food. Whereas this... Ah, I don't think I need to explain. I mean... I mean, I've opened it once before, and it does have a couple of PCBs in there, and that's pretty much it. Not much else to, to give it some weight, but oh well. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but to uh, pull out the capture card, get some, get some footage out of it, and uh, just go about it, I guess. So, <laughs> yeah, so anyways... Uh, Cue the footage, I guess. 
Okay, so here are the 145 in one games on here. You can pause if you want to look through all of them. I sure as hell not going to go through all 145 games. But going to go through several of them, needless to say. Yeah, that song in the background is, uh, is, it, it's, it's no good. It's, it's alright, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just some decent titles on here. Some are why they're on here. Some are. Yeah, it's good they're there, but yeah. Yeah, so uh, not much to say, so let's just jump into the first game. First, we got Street Fighter 2, and uh, yeah, it's Street Fighter 2, as you would expect. And hey, the Sega logo. Why did I bring that up is because uh, this model in particular was uh, done by MSI, except uh, MSI did drastic changes to it, which is no good, and really no good. One thing I could say is the music is a bit faster on here, I don't know why, but yeah, sound emulation is not that good. Wow, that was fast. So here's the uh, problems that I have came across. Sometimes you could do moves, sometimes you can't. I guess the biggest enemy enemy here is the uh, the joystick. And uh, yeah, uh, what could I say about this? The uh, the plug and play one by Radica, a uh, Street Fighter 2 by Radica, done in 2005, plays a lot better than this. And I have one of those, and I've yet to do a DRS video on that. But when I do, I'll do it. So... Yeah, not much to say in that regard. I mean, it's Street Fighter 2, unaltered, particularly in this one. So, yeah, I'm not trying to play good. I'm just, just showing off the capabilities of this thing, so... Not much to say in that regard. Yeah, I'm trying to do Hadoukens and whatnot, so... Come on, just... Put me out of my misery. There we go. Yes, I lose. And with that, we move on to the next game. Next game is Bomber. Or more to the point, Domine o Territorio. <laughs> yes, it's it, it's in Portuguese. <laughs> yep, you could see it's all in Portuguese. And yeah, the music is very annoying and... Hey, what do you know? It's it's Bomberman, or kinda ish Bomberman. With really irritating sound effects and music. Goes to show you why uh, Mega Bomberman is a lot better than this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh. It's not fun. Well, this one's not fun. Should we move on to the next game? I think we should. Next up is Contra. Although, that doesn't look like Contra. I mean, more to the point, Data East, it's not Contra at all. It is, uh... Midnight Resistance. Good game overall, but not exactly Contra, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean... What could you say? I mean, Midnight Resistance, it's a, it's a good game, I like it, but then again, your mileage may vary. Just collecting those keys and such. Yeah, again, I can't stress enough the, uh, the controls on this thing, it just... Um, having difficulties doing diagonals, that's all I could say. Uh, just, uh, this first boss here, just... Kill him off real quick, and go from there. And that's how usually my runs of Midnight Resistances go. Anyway, on to the next game. Next up is Kill Book Sun, <laughs> the one and only Korean made game for the Sega Mega Drive. Why is it on here? Don't know, don't care. But apparently it's made by Samsung. Yes, that's Samsung. As far as I know. Yep, gotta love the text. The year 2020. And it's a shmup. 
your basic run of the mill shmup. And, uh, heard it's not pretty good, but then again, mileage may vary. Yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get shot down and move on to the next game. Yep, next is Sonic the Hedgehog. Because, yes, might as well show off Sonic the Hedgehog. It's on here. Ah, the Sega logo. And it's in Russian. <laughs> uh, why? Why give us the Russian rum and... Oh, there's the red... There we go. That red ring there. Why give us the Russian ROM hack? I mean, I, I don't get it. I mean, for those unexpected, I mean, or those who have played Sonic 1 before, I mean, I mean, yeah, Sonic 1, I've, you know, played it to death, but why give us the Russian one? Oh, well, I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. But what does matter is just trying to complete Green Hill 1. And that's how I my run usually goes. God, that sounds terrible. But that's not the only one. Yep, Sonic 2 is on here. And I might as well show you on here show you that one as well because well. Well, first the Sega logo and then. Again, much like Sonic 1, it's uh, it's in Russian. Okay, let's uh, let's go through Emer Emerald Hill real quick. But I don't even know why I'm complaining. I mean, at the end of the day, it's Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. I mean, if you've played them before, no biggie, but those who've never played Sonic before and you buy this thing and you're looking to play Sonic and you get the <laughs> get the Russian the Russian ROM hack or not ROM hack but the translated out oh, there goes the shield I, I I just don't have words for it but whatever there are multiple ways to play Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 just not on this thing just because the uh, controls and the fact that everything is in Russian and the sound is just <laughs> and again that sounds terrible should we play the next game on here should we I guess so next up is Super Donkey Kong 99 it's like Donkey Kong although it's super and it was in 1999 That's not going to get annoying at all, isn't it? But yeah, it's uh, it's more of an original thing rather than a... Well, it's like Donkey Kong Country 3 and not a good start, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not annoying at all. It's, uh, this one's no good in particular, I could care less about it, so let's move on to the next game, please. Next up is Super Mario 2, or more to the point, yep, Super 2 Mario Bros. <laughs> or, more to the point, Sonic Jam 6, just without Sonic. Yeah, that went real good. <laughs> let's try that again. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's uh, due to the uh, controls on this thing, which I cannot stress enough is just... Uh. And yeah, there we go. So yeah, for those who want to play Super Mario on Sega Genesis, there are multiple ways. Sadly, this is not one of them. Oh yeah, this is the neat trick I, neat <laughs> the neat trick I like doing when it comes to Super Mario, when it comes to collecting the star. Yep, just get it, and run to the goal. Yep, and the music just keeps on going. I like doing that trick. Not on here, but regular Mario, but anyway. Next game. 
And uh, finally, we'll wrap it up with Thunder Force 3. Because, of course. Yes, Thunder Force 3. One of my favorites. I like playing this game so much, but sadly, it's on this... It's on here, but the music again, it's it's butchered, it's it's just bleh all around. And yeah, I get the claw and everything else. Oh not much to say in that regard. I think uh <laughs> Yeah, uh that's uh well, I have not much else left to say on that, so I guess we'll just wrap it off here, so, uh... Okay, yeah, that was terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here, so, uh, let's, uh, go back to the desk with the finishing thoughts. So, uh, yeah. Uh, don't know what to make of this. I mean, it's not very good. It's, uh... Sound emulation is uh, terrible. Uh, you're fighting with the joystick and the buttons. Uh, they work. They work when they do and they don't, and when they don't. So yeah. And uh, to be honest, I don't know why MSI would release uh, Street Fighter Two. You know, at, you know, like this, lacking two player, lacking uh, pretty much anything. Wow. I. I'm lost for words on that one, so yeah. Ah, why would MSI do this? And then again, why would people that made this would make it to begin with, even though emulation is not is uh is not as top notch, but then again you get what you paid for. And speaking of which, I uh since I did buy this back in 2021, uh <laughs> I think I bought, paid $30 for it, plus shipping, of course, from AliExpress. Uh, I don't know if it's being sold, you know, to this day, but then again, I would not recommend it. I mean, there's other ways to play Sega Genesis on, uh, on the go or on the TV if you can't afford a Sega Genesis, you know, the actual hardware with a couple of games and maybe a multi, multi cart one or there, one or two. But, uh, yeah. I wouldn't get this one. Then again, I wouldn't get, you know, the MSI Street Fighter 2, which is, again, going back to that one, I'm, I'm surprised that one's at the top of the list. But, I mean, yeah. But, anyway, that'll do it for me here. Uh, <laughs> I got not much else to say after my voice from all that commentary. So, <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it for this. Uh, I wouldn't recommend picking this one up, but if you want to, I'll probably leave a link in the description. So, yeah, so, uh, what a great way to start off a Lunar New Year, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, then again, oh well. So, yeah, again, that'll do it for me. So, until then, take care. You know, stay safe and all that good stuff. And so, until then, see ya.